I'm leaving a drive-through. Hey, I don't have any more dark chocolate. I just realized I'm out. <laughs> I eat it every night. That high cacao, like 85, 90 something percent. I'm gonna have to make a pit stop and get some. Hey, I, I, I eat it every night. It's good. It's good for your arteries and your good microbes and your gut and your brain. You know what else good? Look, and I haven't had it in forever, and it's probably not good for you. But just for pure taste, like if you you woke up one morning and you're all in a bu bubbly mood, you know what tastes so good? It's probably right. I haven't had it in forever. It's really, really good quality pancakes. Not that garbage like at an IHOP. I'm talking about the old-fashioned kind with the best batter made on the planet. I take butter and just cover each pancake, just cover them. And if, I don't know what kind of syrup you put with it, but it's got sugar in it. But just for pure taste, just for just awesomeness, it's so good. It tastes so good. That, that's one of the favorite things I've probably ever eaten is pancakes. I'm not probably even supposed to eat it. I can have oat like flour, rice, oat, and rye flour is good for me, but the other, all that other stuff's not good. That's why I don't eat bread or any of that thing anymore. None of that. False. <laughs> I'm just talking about taste bud desire. Pancakes are outstanding. I remember going to Cracker Barrel and they had the blackberry ones and they put the whipping cream just they had the three big old pancakes covered the whole plate. They'd stretch the blackberries across it, all that, with the, with the whipping cream. Man, the smell of it. And the, I mean, it, that stuff's so good. It's just so good. I'd propose to it almost. The smell of it, too. And what kind of syrup would you use with it. There's so many kinds. You know, steams, the steams from the state, I mean, it's a unique taste. That's, I don't know if that's so good with pancakes. No, it may be overwhelming. Blueberry pancakes. Oh, tell it. That's proposed worthy. I pronounce you pancake and husband and pancake. There you go. Honor and cherish my pancake forever. The smell, the, the, the way they feel. Smelling them in the, and with that butter, that good butter, the good kind, the quality kind. Yeah, that stuff, that makes me weak, it does. What a, what a pancake, what's that batter made of, actually, exactly. The good, good kind. I don't even know. I don't even know. But I, I know it's probably not good for me. <laughs> I remember one time being at a diner and I got three bacon cheeseburgers and three orders of fries. I had the fries all on a separate plate and I ate it all. And I said, I'm still hungry. And they said, you're lying. You're just saying that. So I got a five stack of pancakes and bacon and sausage and toast. Then I got a three stack of pancakes with sausage and bacon. Then I ate three pieces of pie, an apple and two cherry. And then I drank seven cups of coffee and, and then got my bill. Yeah, they told me you're lying. So that's what I did. I had like a $50 bill in that time. <laughs> Yeah, I remember. I was in there a while. Pig. <laughs> Pig, I did it. I don't eat like that anymore. No. I was probably 70 pounds bigger than I am now when I ate that. But I wasn't a buffalo. No, I wasn't fat. No. I don't want, I'm glad I'm light like I am now. It's just... The only thing is my, my ears and nose look gigantic. My goodness. He, he 
It's Mr. Ears and Nose. <laughs> Mr. Potato, I look like a Groucho Marx in real glasses. And nose with, with, in real life, almost. That's enough gibbering. I'm rambling. Nonsense. Yeah, I'm good at that. Be good at something. I'm good at rambling verbally. Look at that car. What color is that? It's, it's lime and yellow mixed, it looks like. I've never seen that color. It's kind of neat. It's kind of a good color. I'm going to get my chocolate for later on. I need that late. Before I go to bed, I want to eat that. That's my little, that's my little treat at night. Have a good weekend.